In this video, I'm going to show you how you can embed outside websites directly within your Canvas pages so that your students can benefit from the activity without you trying to get students to several different websites. For this example, I have a virtual manipulative for counting coins. So I can drag these out onto the screen. I've got different coins. My students can work with those. They can also work with the number blocks to help reinforce those concepts of how much it is. It's a good resource, but to try and get my students onto this random website can often become difficult. So the way I'm going to get that in is I've got my website and I'm going to just copy and paste the URL. So I highlight it. I press control C, which is the shortcut for copy. And now I need to open another tab. I'm looking for what's called an iframe generator. So the one I use works just fine. I found it because it is the first result on Google. So there are others, you don't have to use this one. They all work pretty much the same thing. So iframe generator sounds like it's something really complicated. It's generating HTML code, which you don't have to know what any of that is in order to be able to use this, because all you have to do is be able to copy and paste. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come in where it says iframe URL, and I'm going to paste, so that's control V. So here is the website that I got these money pieces from. So I've got that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click preview. I click preview first because I want to see what is this going to look like. I can see here that this looks kind of small and it's cutting off some of the different parts. So that tells me it's probably not big enough. And so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to adjust it. So I've got my width and I've got my height. So I'm going to adjust this. I find that usually between 900 and 1000 is usually pretty good for width. For height on this, it just depends on the size of the program that you're using. This one's not especially high, so I'm going to go to 950 by 600 pixels. I'm going to preview, see how this looks. I've got all of my things down here. Nothing's cut off. I've got my different coins. So this looks like a good size to me. So at that point, I'm going to generate. Now you can, if you generate it first and then realize it's too small, you can come over here, readjust, and just press generate again. So what I'm going to do here is I'm now just going to click on this. Once I click on it, it automatically highlights the entire bit of code. And I'm going to just copy it. So again, control C. Now I'm going to come over to my Canvas page. So if I'm going to put this in, and I can do this on pages, assignments, I can do this on quizzes, I can do this on discussion boards, really anything that has this text box here. So I'm going to put coin counting up here. And this is the part that I have to remember. If I just paste this code here, when I save it, it's just going to show me that code. So this is, if all you see is the code, you know that you pasted it into the wrong spot. So what you need to do is you are going to click on this HTML editor. So I'm going to delete that here. And if I go into the editor, like I said, you don't have to know anything at all about the code. You just need to be able to copy and paste. Now if I come down and I save, the website's going to show up. It'll take a moment to load, but it will be there for students to use. Now, one caveat to this is if you are going to have other content on the page as well. So for example, for this one, I've got text down here. I've got text and videos above it. I find that it's much easier to put those in first and then just know I want the code or I want the manipulative program, website, whatever it is you're using. I want that coming in between that text. And then when you go to the code, 
you just put it in between. So you'll be able to see. So for example, this will take a moment to load. But if I go to the HTML editor here, So I put all of my content in and I used the regular typing part to do that. So I used the part where I can go and use bold and italics and all of that. It's easier to do that than to do the code. Then I just switch over. And for me, my clue was I put all of these little lines here to separate sections, but that also acted as a good clue to me that right above that is where I wanted to paste that code. And then when I go back, it just automatically inserts the program right there. Now, the one thing you have to be aware of, though, is this is only going to work in Canvas if it's a program that has HTTPS. If it's just HTTP, you can try and just copy the URL and add an S in there, sometimes that works, but sometimes it doesn't. So if it's not showing up within Canvas, that's a sign that it's not a secure website. That's what that S stands for. So you'll need to find a different program. More and more programs anymore though are a secure website, so HTTPS, and so they should work just fine for you.